In a country where the future of electric vehicles still hangs in the balance, the University of Lagos has made the first move as the University of First Choice to adopt EV buses as a means of public transportation for its students. Today, we go around the university, finding out how the electric buses work, when they work, if they work, and who is responsible for making it work. So I prefer this Ogata um, electric vehicle to the normal cab because number one, it's cheaper. It's just that it might mean like they like they'll take jobs away from the other cabs, but it's good. I love it. I only tried it last week, and I think it's you know a beautiful idea. Uh, the journey was smooth. It was uh, quite comfortable for each person that was seated in there. Uh, Emission-free uh, bus, so it's also very clean. First in your seat belt, this is two, three, four drive. This is what the electric buses look like, and my favorite thing about it is that you have five doors, five doors, and yeah. So each person just enters the bus. No need to cramp anybody. No need to shit for me now. Three, 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 three. So this is a 14 seater bus. You already know it's electric, but it also has a solar panel. There's a solar panel here that supports the electric power. So it's not just charging, charging. So the solar power also charges the battery, but not fully. So this is like a support for the electric charging. I know you know it is a Unilag. You know it's an electric bus. But the question is, how did it start? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, bro. Please, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Itsumu. You know, I run an organization called Chat Echo. You know, Chat Echo is into um, environmental solutions. So what we basically do is to identify problems. And after identifying the problems, especially problems that challenge the environment, after identifying these problems, we come up with solutions that can, you know, come up with innovations that can solve these problems, basically. Yeah. So, how this all starts and why, why electric buses? Yeah, so like I said, what we, I, um, what we do is to identify problems. So, I discovered that in the University of Lagos, because I schooled here and I frequent the university, okay, okay. you know, and what I discovered that I can, you know, the transportation price, okay. there been res resistance from the students that is, ah, you know, because of the, they can't afford it, basically. We went back to the drawing board as, a, as an organization. What we do, like I said, we, we normally come up with solutions. We went back to the drawing board to see how we can address the uh, fuel like the transportation price problem you know so we now partnered it's, we own we partnered an organization called Ogata Global Resources right we are into electric vehicles now we came up with a plan we came up with a design and all so after the design we got the manufacturers to help us um bring our ideas to life. to life so then after bringing it after breaking it in you know so far so good it has been embraced because it's actually solved the problem that you need to try to address which is the transportation problem if the the hike in transportation price and also the environmental problem because you know there are so many carbs that use conventional um energy or conventional fuel which emits so much um, which emit pollution, which emit say, greenhouse gases, I know they're not good for the atmosphere. But with this, it has solved both the economical problem, the economic problem where students can now um, afford the transportation price and the environmental problem, which has reduced. So how much, how much is this? So this is 100 naira. And Charlie Bonham, what is how much? 200 naira. It has 50% slash. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah. So how, how easy was it to deploy these buses into the university community, speaking to the management? Uh, no, I mean, it was a... Uh, it was quite, it wasn't that easy, you know, like it's a public sector, like uh, proposals here and there. But when we managed to get the attention of the public pens, you know, it's a flu. The idea flew because, right, like I said, the students had been protesting to the school that they won't be able to afford the new price, right? So immediately we brought the proposal to their, to their attention, to the attention of management. They appraised it, right? Because they knew, they saw the value in it immediately. and. I mean, so far so good. To the, to the point of, in fact, this could actually took ownership of it, right? Because if you go everywhere, you see zero lag, zero resources. I mean, took ownership of it immediately. And if you go online, you see the unilag just launched. You know, the electric vehicle. They also have supporting 
infrastructures, right? You have the charging station, you have electric vehicles already, you know, and again, a lot of research is going on on the on EVs, you know, so like they accepted it's like sort of no problem for them to accept. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go to the yeah. to the buses? Let's just and I can see that one just came now. Yeah, yeah. Are they coming to charge or rest? Uh, no, no, how, so, no. How, how is the operation of the bus? So basically, work like, the... yeah, we work from seven to seven. Okay. But seven to three, right? The normal uh, working hours, then from three o'clock to seven, you can decide to do overtime. So this driver does, but he just is closed for the day. Okay. Right? So he has got the buses, so the buses which will charge. So, and there's another driver that will come and take it later. But ideally, right? The buses last, the one battery, one bus can go for about 70 kilometers, right? That is about six to seven hours, but we don't wait for you to get to that, right? We bring the bus, we have timetable for the buses, we bring the buses back to the station every now and then for them to charge. You know, like if you notice this morning, like some buses have been coming, they've been going and all. So like you have a timetable for the buses to come and uh, charge. The batteries. How do you know when the batteries go? So like it, there's an indicator you know, on the dashboard. Can we, right. can we see it? Okay. So the, the indicator, the indicator on the dashboard. So you can see that this one is on two bar. You know, like that's why it's uh, it's charging, it's charging already. No, it, 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 does AC? Yeah, for this bus, the next one that I'm bringing in. Uh, the ACs will work, but for this particular one, we'll of the batteries, okay, the batteries right. don't go to support it. But the next ones, they are going to have um, ACs, right? I go to have ACs. So compared to the traditional cars, you have how easy is it to drive this? Yeah, it's very, 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 very easy to drive. Like it's manual, and it's not so badly complicated. Like you, the the uh, way you are even the automatic cars. That one has so many things. There's a drive, there's a overdrive, and all. This one is all simple. You know, like reverse, neutral, neutral drive, drive, drive. Yeah, drive. Yeah, 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 not yeah. Cool. yeah not very cool. easy. Very simple to drive. So we are going to take this bus now. Okay. Pick up students. You are going to be our driver for the day, just no to see how students come in, okay. get out. We will be able to use the bus. So. One harness. Okay. okay. So you just start, there's no yeah, sound, nothing. No, no sound. So it's oh, just going like this. Going like this. And then check. For the sake of this video, Itinu is going to be an actor. We're going to drive the buses himself today. So we're going to pick up passengers and just do everything that this bus does every day. But we want it controlled, so that's why it's driving yeah. now. So, so this is just like, the bus is charged and they're taking it yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to work. To work, yeah, to pick up passengers at the gates. And you were talking about the speed, um, what is what's the speed limit? Uh, 30 km per hour. Why is it just to suit the investing uh, traffic policy? The last speed limit is 30 km per hour. Okay. So the way it was calibrated, you know, so don't so flout their the laws. They are laws. But at 30 km per hour, do the drivers have any challenge with people on the road? Or you are going to slow? Yeah, uh, definitely. Like, uh, hey, you have to press, you have to honk and do stuff because people are not used to sluggish buses. No, everybody's rushing. You know? So, like, wherever we are moving, although we have our own lane, the, the, the slow lane, the fast lane, yes, and the normal lane. Yeah. So, we always are, we always try to be at the slow lane. We are at the fast lane. So, there's a lot of problem. So, what are the other technical um, specifications of this bus? Like, how long does it take to charge? Yeah. And a full charge, how far can it go? So, at the full, full charge, it can go for about 70. So, according to the manufacturer's prescription, it goes for about 70 kilometers, right, at full charge. And it takes about eight hours to get the full charge. Okay. Yeah. So, that 70 kilometers, in terms of trip, how many trips does it go? Like, that, that to can, and fro? That how many times? About about 80 to 100 yeah. trips. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. 80 to 100 trips. Yeah. And about 80 to 100 trips. So, what has been the resistance with the traditional drivers? Well, they are, drivers. Definitely, they are, they are fighting back vehemently. You know, so, which are also standing on our ground because ours is way cheaper. Ours is 100 naira. You know, so, people have embraced. Uh, you know, people have, yeah, they still have their own guys because not, not everyone that wants to stay in the queue. Right, when the queue is too long, people don't people go to their places. 
it's really silent. Like those yeah. people, are, people are, they are just pushing. I always try not to press the on, not to on. Okay, why? Mm -hmm. No, to avoid noise, noise pollution. Like ideally, like insane environments are not meant to be. Everybody knows what's uh, like. All drivers should know what they're doing, right? It's only in special situations you can see that is 30 km per okay hour. yeah 30 km per hour yeah i do like the speed this is what they call disruption yeah disrupting the traditional <laughs> industry so we're going to pick up people now yeah. and the payment is it cash or yeah, it's card? Cash, both cash and card but okay. you know, about in a few weeks time i'm going to get cash to see oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Change. Change. Are there gears? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. just park neutral and yeah, drive. Yeah. No sports mode. <laughs> <laughs> but the next set that we're bringing in. Okay, they have to so go faster. Yeah, that one go faster. That one can do 20 km per hour. But like, for the operation of this, are you guys looking to go to actual roads or just communities? Ah, close, or or like if you, uh, the reason we picked here because it's a close community, right? And they are supporting infrastructure. Where do you say supporting infrastructure? So they have, they have the charging station, they have uh, EV vehicles already, okay. you know, they have good roads. Yeah. So you can have like a more, a friendly, a friendly environment outside. So that place we are going to explore. Definitely going to explore. I really like that the doors is one door for um, yeah, yeah, so it's not comfortable. Yes. Right, so, so you don't have to get out of somewhere yeah. to bed or somewhere to enter. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Do you have any challenge convincing the authorities to allow you to establish this? No, ah, no, it was a no brainer for them too. Because, like I said, the, when they increase the fare to 200 naira, yeah. right, the students. Like the student body, you know, wrote to the management that they could not afford it. That it's better for them to trek. I know. So when we bought our proposal, it was no better for them to accept. Sorry. Okay. Like there was no there, there was no resistance from the top. There was no form of resistance from the top, but from the ground. Ah. <laughs> I mean, the ground is where it's yeah, yeah. So this is the one. So you basically have uh, this is the middle bus stop after New York. This is main campus. campus, main campus. Yeah. After going on one trip with Itunu, we came back to the bus park to speak to one of the EV bus drivers. So they are actually called pilots. Uh, my name is Napoleon, I'm a pilot of uh, Ogata Global Resources Nigeria Limited. What do you like about this bus? It's short, it's very fantastic. Uh, I, 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 I can't compare it with uh, other vehicles. Uh, my happiness to this electrical bus is that it doesn't make noise, it doesn't smoke like other vehicles I have driven before. So some of my younger other pilots, they are confirming about this. And uh, safety, some of my passengers love it because nothing like uh, noise, you just move like you are on the air. You know, uh, when you can work, when you resume work in the end money, we first of all, check whether the vehicle is charging. If it's charging, then you check the battle voltage and you make sure that it's 100% levels. In short, uh, I thought that uh, it's good to be enlightened, especially in some area of these electrical vehicles. Mm, the only challenges we have is that uh, uh, as we introduce this uh, carry card, some passengers, they are not happy, they want to pay cash. But uh, we are trying to tell them that it's easier for them to get the card and so that they can tap in, no stress. Some of them, 100 naira, they bring 1,000 naira. To find change will be difficult for our ticketers and it delays our, it delays our movement. So yeah. we decide within the company that the car card is better for them. So that's some challenges we are facing. We are back now to charge. We've gone to work, we've gone to hustle, carry people. So now we're back to charge. And yeah. Very silent. Feels like you are just driving. I get why they call their drivers the pilots because it feels like you're driving a plane. It just goes slow, 30 kilometers per hour because that's the school's regulation. But it's very, very silent. Before I say my favorite thing about the bus, what is your favorite thing about the bus? No, like, like the fact that you no, know, also like 
it's seamless. You know, like of the operations, you know, like just plug and play. You don't need to the maintenance. Whatever you have to change oil because I'm very bad with that with the conventional cars. I don't like to check for anything. So you don't need to check for anything. Just start, just plug and play, oh, basically. Nice. My favorite yeah. thing about the bus is what people said, how three people can just enter, very yeah. convenient, no need to squeeze anybody, yeah. very, very silent. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they're not having headaches compared to like nothing, yeah. nothing yeah. at all. Yeah. So now we're going to, they're going to charge this for another, how many hours? No, another two, three hours. Two, three hours and it goes back yeah, to the road. They can, the road. Finish, they can finish the day. So the people are saying walk. that it, it closes too early. And another thing is that this to close early, like, I'm coming seven, they're telling me they have closed. Please now, <laughs> they're not telling me they're going to work, so. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, that call that the is, they still want the bus to run. Yeah, after yeah. Seven. Call of the workforce. We also need our drivers to rest. To rest. Because yeah. the demand is high. If you say we should, that means we probably be closing by twelve, and you know, like uh, our drivers will not be in optimal condition. So, so over time, you know, like we are going to strengthen our workforce to be able to have like longer hours to work longer hours. Okay, so uh, what is the plan for these buses like beyond Unilag? What's the plan outside of Unilag? What's so like, like I said, like if the if you have an enabling environment, because the reason um, by Unilag is because of the enabling environment. Like I said earlier, they have supporting infrastructure for it yeah. already. They have supporting infrastructure for yeah. it already. So if there is more, like if the environment is more friendly outside, then we are definitely going to upscale. You know, yeah, but so at the moment, we our major markets are close to communities, close right? Communities. Close communities where we can easily charge, where we are going to, where we are not going to face the hassle of um, the NUR to W members and all. Uh, thank you very much. I've actually been seeing the boss on TikTok a lot. People make content with it, and yeah. it's always like positive, positive reviews. Yeah. So yeah. when we come here, I was very excited to just experience the boss, and it is, it is like everything they say it is. Yeah. So I think yeah. it is a very good job. We have now come to the end of the video. I want to know what you think. Do these buses make sense? Where do you want these buses to operate? What do you think is the future of electric vehicle transportation in Nigeria? Let me know in the comments. My name is Crank and this is 234 Drive.